Hi, Jim Shaw here again, Crystal Group. Wanted to talk just a little bit about uh, MIL standard 810 and all the tests that that encompasses. First thing you need to know about MIL standard 810 is it's, it's really um, how to manage, uh, it's a document on how to manage the testing. It's also a document on how to tailor the testing and um, also a, a document on how to conduct the procedures for the, the mill standards that you're testing. So what, what is that exactly? What are those mill standards that, or that those, uh, those tests that we're, we're talking about? And it's, it's really everything from altitude, humidity, vibration, shock, ballistic impact, um, noise. So the, the only thing it really doesn't uh, cover would be nuke, chem, bio types of contamination or um, electromagnetic compliance or compatibility, so EMI types of testing. So those are separate tests from, from the uh, MIL standard 810. But there's a few things that you need to know about MIL standard 810 before you just accept uh, what a computer supplier or a server manufacturer says. So really, um, the first question that you should ask is, well, what test uh, method did you use? Um, what uh, procedures were used and then how are they tailored and really one of the most important questions is um, can I have a copy of the of the test report and a lot of times you'll get uh, an answer of well we didn't actually do the testing we just designed to and that's sort of a telltale sign of uh, potential problems um, so always ask for those reports and always look for um, how was it tested and to what levels and that's one of the things that's critically important in creating a product that's going to be durable and uh, and and meet the environmental requirements thanks again join us next time for another shiny object at crystal group